guys, welcome to another video of Ramadan special brought to you by Cooking Simplified. Now I'm going to make a dessert this time. It's been, you know, if you've had three videos and have, there haven't been any desserts and this will be a perfect time. This is something which is really special and an all-time favorite, an all-time favorite. It's a very old recipe. My mom used to make it a lot when we were younger and it's something really quick and something you can have, you know, on a, sometimes if you just crave for a sweet, um, sometimes, uh, you know, late at night after you've broken your fast, and this is perfect to go with your hot cup of milk or a hot cup of tea. So please, uh, do like it and do subscribe and uh, I hope you will like it and if you do have any comments, please do comment and let's get started. <clears throat> so I've got my ingredients right here. As you can see, no fuss about it. Uh, these are the things I always have in my house and uh, I believe in not thinking about what I don't have but making do with what I have. I have one cup of water right here. I'm going to make it really simple for you, no fuss about it. Um, it always make sure you have your measuring cups. Be very precise about your measuring when you're making a sweet dish or a dessert. So I've got one cup of measuring, uh, I've got my measuring cups, which is a little cup, which will be about 250 ml of water. And then I always have sugar, everybody has sugar in their kitchen. And this is again one cup, about 250 ml. Then we have some cocoa powder. Uh, you can use any good cocoa powder you want. I'm using bone meal right here, kept this bone meal. Uh, I'm using half a cup of cocoa, which would be, again, as you can see, half a cup would be 125 ml. And then I've got some butter right here. Uh, we've got some butter right here. <clears throat> now I've got a whole one and a, you know, half a butter. This is 250 grams, but we only need 150. Uh, so I have, you know, half already here. I'll just use this block. Um, and uh, the easiest way to measure is it's got measuring right at the bottom. So all you have to do is cut it in half. So you need 150, just cut it about here. That's the 150 grams of butter. There you go. And then we have some biscuits, some rich tea biscuits. Right here you need about uh, 300 grams of rich tea biscuits. We're going to break it at the end of the recipe. We're going to break it into pieces and then mix it together with the chocolate sauce. Let's get started. So what I'll do is I'll put my cocoa in there, my sugar in there, and then I've got, just to mix it up you need your, uh, what do you call it, whisker? What do you call it? Whisker. And then just gradually add your uh, water in, just gradually and mix it together. Just gradually mix it together. Oh, the best thing I love about this is when you're mixing cocoa with anything, you get a really strong aroma of cocoa coming through. Ah, oh, that chocolate. I love working with chocolate. Everybody loves working with chocolate, I think. Okay, <clears throat> so as you can see, I've just whisked it all together. That was my one cup of sugar, half cup of cocoa, one cup of water. And then, what I'll do is put my butter in. The best thing to do is so we make sure that butter melts quick. Just chop it into small pieces. Also, I could put the whole chunk in, but I don't want it. So I'll just chop it up and need some. So you just chop it up. That's 150 grams of butter. There you go. Butter right in there. Now, what you do is you take it over the heat. Okay, now the, if, if this sauce is really quick, no fuss about it. It needs to be on the heat for about 12 minutes. As you can see, if you come closer, you can see that at the moment it's really liquidy, you, your butter is in there, it's not melted. So just leave, leave it on the heat, stir constantly, so you don't want to burn your chocolate. And you don't want to burn your cocoa. So we'll let it stir on about you know, medium to high heat for about three to four minutes, just until your butter is melted. And after your butter is melted, make sure you stir it constantly so not to burn it. And um, in total, the total time for the sauce, literally on the cloth would be not more than 12 to 15 minutes. 
So we've got our chocolate sauce cooking right there. Uh, meanwhile, I think meanwhile I'll clear it up, right? <laughs> okay, so um, I could, you could what do it in the meanwhile, start uh, baking up your um, biscuit. But because I want to make it one part thing, what I'll do is once my chocolate is cooked, I'll start breaking up the biscuit into this pan rather than transfer it to another bowl. That's only more work for me, more washing up to do. I'm not gonna do that. Not to run my darn. And I'm sure you don't wanna do that too either. Okay, everybody, you can see that the sauce is cooking, it's boiling. You can see really good bubbles in there. And oh my god, you can smell it. Ah, it's amazing. Okay guys, as you can see, chocolate sauce is done. Now to be sure that it's really done, also it should be done in about 12 to 8 minutes, uh, 12 to 15 minutes. But to make sure it's really done, just get this spatula or a spoon. And as you can see, it should stick to the back of your spatula. As you can see, it's, it's taken up quite a lot. So I'm going to the heat. I just want to really give it a quick stir. And while the chocolate sauce is still warm, don't let it wait for it to cool down. Get working. I'll get my biscuits. As I mentioned, these are rich tea biscuits. And I'll just break them into real pieces and put it in the chocolate sauce. It's as simple as that. Just get your cooked biscuits, put it in your chocolate sauce. Make sure you just give it a quick stir once in a while. So I've got some in there. You might need to do a little bit of arm work here, <clears throat> but it's good for your arm. Toning up, right? <laughs> That's a good. That's gonna make a good appetite for me. Hard work. <laughs> okay. Wow, that looks great. Look at the color of that chocolate sauce. Great, dark. A deep dish, a pan, whatever you have. A little bit of plain trim. Just let it. The good thing about this is, once your cake is in the fridge for a couple of hours and you cake it out, you can just turn it upside down and then it should come off easily. Take off the plain film, put it in a, in a plate of your choice and just cut it and serve. I'll show you that after our recipe stuff. So I'll just take this and layer it into my dish. Oh, that's great. Oh, look at the color. Just make sure you get all the chocolate in there. Don't leave any goodness, you know, any goody in your pan. I mean, in your cooking pan, you're gonna leave it there. Take it off. So just make sure you flatten it off. You need to make sure you flatten it for a good shape. So just flatten it. Flatten it really well. Make sure you press it against the bottom of your or your cake, whatever you're making. <clears throat> but if you're in a quick in a hurry, no problem. Just put it in your fridge for at least minimum of three hours. After three hours, it should be pretty chill. You know, you can take it out, turn it over, put it in a plate, turn it over, ready to eat. So once it's done in the fridge, I'll put it in the fridge now, and once it's done, after three hours, we'll make another video, and we'll show you how it comes out. Right, hi guys, so it's been three hours, my protein is ready. Uh, as you can see, it's quite solid, and, and now what I'm going to do is just take it out. Uh, so one recipe to do is this, uh, loosen it, loosen it up from the side. Like a, a really flat, you could it, use a butter knife to do this, uh, but because I have uh, this French shawl, so I'm just going to use that. And we'll just loosen it up to put it from the side. Yeah, so it's 
after serving it. Mmm, yum. Oh my god, that's really good. So just chop. You could do it in squares or a rectangle or whatever is easy for you. And just plate it up. Oh, can you see how beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? The color, how beautiful is that? And then just chop it. So you just wanna, uh, you know, align it together. So if you're serving it for someone, uh, I think that looks really nice. You can see the blend of biscuits and chocolate. And it's just beautiful. So this was our cookie. Thank you so much for watching. And please do like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. It's Cooking Simplified. If you have any comments, please do post them. But make sure you post them on YouTube. Thank you so much.